What's up, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel, it's your boy Mark A. So, I have this really different type of video for you guys today. Um, I didn't even expect to make this video. I was, you know, well I was planning on already doing this, this project, I guess you could say, but I wasn't planning on filming it. It didn't hit me until just now. I was like, oh, I should film this because people will be asking me for more animal videos anyway. And, I don't think they were asking for this kind of animal video, but hey, why not? You know, it's part of my daily task things today, whatever. So I'm going to be giving you guys, as the title says, a wet specimen, um, how to preserve a dead lizard in jars, in a jar for all of eternity. Um, let me just say this now, if you guys are screamish at all, if you guys, you know, don't like seeing like dead animals and things like that, uh, if it were, like if you have a very weak stomach, then you probably shouldn't watch this video. But nope, I'm not gonna say that. Watch the video. Just maybe this kind of like help you overcome your screaminess. Is that even a word? I don't know. Oh, you fucking fly! Oh my god. But yeah, okay. So like I so said, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to preserve a dead lizard in a jar for all of eternity. All right, you guys, so for this process, you do need a few essential materials to create this, basically. Um, you do need gloves. Um, I know some people don't mind touching dead animals, especially their own without using gloves. Like for me, I don't mind touching my animals. If it's my animal, I would touch it with no gloves. I don't care. But for the purpose of the video and for like educational purposes, um, I will be using gloves. So. Please use gloves because you don't know what could have happened to the dead body. It could have, you know, you know what diseases the animal could have. Hopefully none, especially if it's your own animal. Just better to be safe than sorry. You also need a needle, a syringe, disposable one, because you do have to inject the animal with a liquid. Um, you also need a jar, a proper size jar, because I feel like why would you want to stuff the animal in a jar, you know? You wanna, you wanna have it to where it's big enough to where the animal can fit in there um, comfortably, whatever, um, without you having to stuff it, you know? And then you also need uh, Formulate. Now, I know Formulate isn't like the easiest thing to get. You can get it on like Amazon or whatever. I went to Target and Walmart and CVS looking for it. I could not find it. It's only sold online, as far as I know. But um, basically what it does is, it's a chemical product, it's a chemical um, liquid that um, when you inject the animal with it, it prevents the insides of the animal from decaying. And when you also soak the animal in it, it prevents the outside of the animal from decaying. So um, if you cannot get that, if you cannot get it, the next best thing to get is basically rubbing alcohol. Now, um, the animals that I've just shown you, um, one of them, no, both of them are actually soaked in alcohol. Um, but another one of my snakes whose body I no longer have, he was soaked and injected with uh, formulae. I don't have that to show you, but alcohol is the next best thing. It pretty much does the same thing. Like these guys been in this jar for like a combined three years now. And um, I don't think they have not decayed. Um, so yeah, so alcohol works perfectly. And it's cheaper too, like it's very cheaper than formulate. So I recommend alcohol if you can't get formulate. Um, and also, obviously you need the specimen, right? All right, you guys, so unfortunately, this is one of my old pets. Um, it is a about a year old Savannah Monitor Lizard. I know this isn't like the prettiest site, whatever. I know like she isn't like you know the most beautiful specimen, but it's cool though. Um, so the backstory on her real quick is that um, I go to these like these reptile shows, these reptile expos here in Ohio, they're pretty much everywhere. And one of the vendors there had two or three baby savannah monitors. I'm guessing her and her hatchlings, whatever. Well, her hatchmates, whatever. Um, and they didn't look good. They really did not look good at all. I could tell they were sick. I could tell they were not in the best condition. Um, there was something about this one that kind of pulled me towards it. And I wanted to try to save it. I wanted to try to save it. I wanted to try to bring it around and switch his life back to make it as healthy as possible. 
Um, I tried everything. I, um, she wasn't eating. She wasn't hardly drinking. She ate and drank a little bit. I took her to the vet, and the vet um, said she had a whole list of problems, and they wanted to charge me a pretty penny. You know, you know what they wanted to charge me. I did not want to spend on that. It was like way more than I've ever spent on any animal, and at the time I didn't have it, so I said, "Oh shit, what the fuck?" Like, damn. Um, I mean, I bought her really cheap, so it wasn't like I was losing any money, but it was just, the vet bill was outrageous. So, I kind of knew that there was nothing that I could do at that time, so I just tried my best to keep her as comfortable as possible. I kept offering her food and water and, you know, the heat and everything like that. Um, and then one day I just came home and she was gone, you know, God rest her soul. So, and I knew that I'm, I was going to preserve her body, I just lazy and didn't do it yet so for this whole time she's been in my freezer um she's been in my freezer for about a month maybe a little over a month honestly in a bag though she wasn't just like this she was like in a bag but um so yeah so that's her her name was phoenix actually mike named her mike went with me to um to get her so um mike actually named her phoenix because i named all of my animals after superheroes and we all know phoenix is like the gym Right. It's Jane Gray, whatever. Omega love them, you in? Let's go. So let me just show you guys how to do this real quick. And yeah. All right, y'all. So I changed angles because I felt like I wanted to give you guys a different angle because I felt like the light is coming better in this way through my window, opposed to me like facing a wall. So, um, and by the way, shout out to Sue. That's one of my original babies right there. That's one of the, the god moms of the house, you know. The big mama of the house, you know, her and her, uh, Scarlett. Uh, yeah, so, all right. All right, so I already took the top off of the alcohol. I'm about to just pour a little bit in the cup. Only because um, it's easier to um, insert it into the needle. It'd be a lot easier. You don't need a lot, honestly. Just a little bit. All right. So like I said, if it was um, the other liquid, it'll be a lot better, but this is cool too. So basically all you do is just, throughout, because the um, specimen is so big, you have to pretty much just put the alcohol all throughout the body. Um, if it was a smaller specimen, you don't really need to insert it with anything, but because it's so large, and this is a baby guy, so if she was bigger, I need to do it a little bit more. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna just put some like in her arms. Let's put some in the arms. Careful. Put some in the arms and the legs. Again, if you're screamish, I'm sorry. Put some all throughout the body. Put some in both arms, both legs. Do you guys see? I think you can. Put some in the belly. Because it's a reptile, it's probably easier to try to go like up under the scales. You all know how reptiles are. With how the, well, with how their scales are made. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit more in, just to be on the safer side of things. Belly. Put some there. I'm, I'm gonna do one more. One more. And like I said, I know she don't look the prettiest, but when she was alive, trust me, she was beautiful. Even in her, her sixth state. I'm gonna put one more right here. 
And I'm going through the belly because I think it's pretty like common sense, you know, that the underbelly is the softer spot of the animal. You know what I mean? Opposed to the hard scales that's right here, along his back and things like that. The underbelly is the softer part of it. So the needle can go in a lot easier. Put some there. Did I put some in his arm? I don't think I put any in this arm just yet. And I got a little bit left, so I'm just gonna put it right here in her leg. No, uh, the bottom of her belly. Okay, that's pretty much all you need. Um, this is trash now, but I will say, make sure you put the cap back on it because you don't want to put this in your trash can and then go and take out your trash and then you get poked with a needle that's been in a dead animal. You don't want to do that. Um, that's very bad for you, for real. That's going to be a very bad day. So next up is to make sure you have a um, airtight jar. Um, this jar is airtight. When you clamp it, it brings it down so the air can't seep in. Um, now it's the, you just you just you just now you just pour the now you just pour the alcohol in the jar. Alright, I'm gonna leave a little bit down because when you put the body in of course you want to make it rise up some. Alright, so now you wanna put it in to where it's like to where it's not like grown in there or mashed in there. You want to make it look kind of, you know, like, you know, decent to look at. I like it, but I don't like how her tail is positioned, so. Let me just redo this real quick so the tail could be positioned a little better. Close it up, tighten it. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna pour a little bit more in, just a little bit to the line. So. Perfect. Close it up, tighten it down. So for right now, I'm gonna just put it right here. You know, with the other ones in the back until I figure out a place where I want to actually keep it. This is not where I'm gonna keep it. I don't like it right here. Um, I just feel like it's not really appealing and creative right here. But she's right here with her sister and her brother that's in the back. Um, I kind of want to put it on my TV stand, but it won't fit on my TV stand. I want to put it somewhere. I don't know just yet. But yeah, that's Phoenix, you guys. That's Parker, and that's Gamora, and then that's Odin. That's so what? 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 You jump off? Oh, want to come outside? You want to come out? I know. I got you, baby. I got you. Oh, I know why you scared. <laughs> I know why, cause you saw me put uh, Phoenix in the jar, baby. Yeah, don't worry. I'm not gonna do that to you. I mean, I will one day, but uh, no, I can't do it to you. I won't be able. To, I won't be able to handle it. I'm going to cry my eyes out when you pass. Hopefully, not for like a hundred years from now, so that way I ain't gotta deal with it. But yeah, I love you so much, baby. I love you so much. I would never treat you in such a rough way. I love you. And then you guys, that's Scarlet over there. Alright you guys, I know what you're gonna say. I know what you're gonna say. What the fuck did I just watch? I know that. I know. And I'm sorry for that. But you know, I wanted to show you guys something a little bit different. You know, that like I said, I don't do that often because my animals don't 
people die that often. But um, yeah, so I hope you guys liked this video. It was, you know, you know, not for everybody. I get that. It's cool though. Um, but as always, I'm gonna give my post notification shout out. And I'm about to give it to, I'm about to butcher your last name. I'm gonna try to say it as properly as possible. But Raymond McCaw, bro, what's up, bro? I know I butchered your last name, I'm sorry. It's, but you know who you are though. Yo, thank you, bro. Thank you for being a part of the Millionaires Club. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for complimenting my cousin. Guys, what's up, millionaires, bro? If you're not part of my channel, press subscribe, y'all. Press subscribe like and comment on everything watch all of my old videos watch all of my new videos you know yo not for the mirror in this club what the f are you waiting for come on so raymond mccall i love you bro millionaires i love you you guys we're almost billionaires we're almost there you guys but right now we are the millionaires club you know um so you guys know i'm about to end it right here so say it loud what say it proud say it for the bitches in the back Every day we lit. What? You can't tell me shit. What? Remember, I was broke. Hey, now we millionaires. Ah, I'm out, y'all.